Okay, here we are at Crankworks Rotorua. First stop of three leading up to Joyride, Slope Style, and Whistler. And uh, we're gonna go chat with some fans and see who they think is gonna be the number one spot come tomorrow. What's your top pick for tomorrow? Nikolai Rigakin. Oh, that was quick. Yep. No hesitation there. Yep. Whether you like his style or not, I feel like he's uh, he's got those explosive tricks. And um, also, it, it just looks so good to the audience and the crowd. And, you know, the other guys I don't think can quite match that. Yeah. Matt Jones. Nice. <laughs> that a boy. Go for the old form. Nice. Mr. Uh, Mr. Tippy. Who you got your money on tomorrow? You, dude, I yeah. think you're gonna do a comeback. Oh, coming and you're gonna win with all 360s, <laughs> tabletops. <laughs> Definitely. You ready for the comeback? Oh, We're heard it around the world? Is that way it is? No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting old like me. Yeah, right. <laughs> no coming back from this. Yeah. No, it'll be, you know what? I think, you know, Reader's consistent. And if he throws it down, you know, he could take it. Um, Rogakin, if he puts it all together and does all his. <laughs> Everything that he does, yep. I think he'll take it. If I was gonna lay my money down, that's what I put my money on. So I would Got say Nikolai. It. If I was gonna put put it in one name, one one number, Nikolai. You heard it from the tipster. Yeah. Boom. It is. Numero uno for Nikolai. What's your uh, what's your take on who's gonna win tomorrow? Tomorrow, I think. Soap I think there's a lot of people that can take it, but obviously the three that pop in my head are Nikolai, Brett, and Emil because he's healthy. I would agree. Um, I'm always a fan of Anthony. I'd love to see him put one together, and I know he's capable. But yep. Emil's like kind of he's on, on his way to being the greatest of all time, and he's healthy, and he can do whatever the hell he wants as long as he's in the air. So I'm going to go with him. You know what? I'm going to have to agree with you on this one. Could be good. I'd bet you, but we can't bet for the same thing. Well, for my top picks, I'm thinking that uh, Emil, if he's healthy, is definitely looking the best out here, the most consistent. The guy's pretty much just got everything on lockdown. It's absolutely breathtakingly impressive how locked down that kid's got all of his tricks. Although I did hear that he uh, he went down pretty hard today and he is pretty known for getting injured. Um, just because you know he's had a bad bad run of luck and whatnot. So uh, I would say if it's not a meal, it's definitely between Reader and Nikolai. I would say, you know, as everyone knows, Nikolai, um, if he lands all of his tricks, he's pretty uh, hard to beat. But at the same time, Reader is just a magician and super consistent as well. So um, other than that, I would like to see Mazir in there. Uh, he's definitely got all the tricks in the bag. And, uh, you know, if he puts a good run together, he's, uh, he's definitely going to be standing on the podium tomorrow. All right, folks, in case you're wondering what kind of bikes these kids ride to get up, up and over these jumps, I'm here with uh, Anthony Mazzari, and we're gonna check out his bike, seeing as he's got a pretty rad paint job. Yeah. Or would yeah. you even call it a paint job? I, I don't even know if it's paint. I don't know how like, they is did it. Is it a deco? Uh, it's not a deco, but it could have been like one of those vinyl dips. Sweet. All right, so uh, what do you got going on on this bike? in terms of makes this bike a little different than the average bike that someone would just go buy off the shelf. Yeah, so I mean we got a standard just a hardtail frame built dirt jump bike. Um, what makes ours a little bit different is we got this gyro set up here which uh, allows us to rotate the bars freely as many times as we want and not have to worry about our cables getting wrapped up. Makes it a lot easier to swap too because I don't need a just like your average gyro cables. Yeah, this you is just, just a run bright a cable. cable. Yeah, and these are shifter cables on the top. Perfect. So nice and easy to replace. Cool. Yeah. Good luck out there. Thank you. Have fun. All right, folks, that's all we got for today. Tune in tomorrow, Rebel TV, checking out the uh, finals. You.